Hello and welcome to my channel about my Sylvanian families and dollhouse miniature collection. In this video, Rosalind Bernard Fox from Slyfully Stylish Interiors is going to design a kitchen for one of her clients in the Sylvanian village. This is her last successful project for Juliet the Chocolate Rabbit, where she designed a romantic bedroom using the color swatches from an inspirational color card. I want to give an extra thank you to those 33 whimsical voters who chose the color card to use for Rosalind's next interior design project. Every single vote counted and it only took two voters to break a tie. And here is the winning color card. How appropriate to for this time of year because the photo looks like a transition between summer and fall. On the back of the card, you could see the name of the colors, sky blue, light blue, yellow, amber, and copper. On this card, you could see that the yellow looks more like a green, but we're gonna go with it. Rosalind's mission is to design a kitchen for the Red Roof country home in the Sylvanian village. Rosalind was quite nervous about making this color palette work, but she felt much relieved when she found this wallpaper to use. Quite a while back, I bought this piece of 12 by 12 cardstock because I thought the individual squares would make good rugs in a Sylvanian village home. And Rosalind is so happy to have this as a resource for her interior design projects. There are a lot of different rugs in here that go well with a color card. So let's take a look at some of the items that Rosalind curated for her kitchen design. There is a kitchen sink with an orange flowered pattern on it that represents the amber color in the card and a matching stove with copper colored knobs. This kitchen table is a perfect match with the copper in the color card. These curtains are from the Sylvanian family's collection and have hints of amber and copper in the flowers. Rosalind had a lot of rugs to choose from and this is the one she chose. It's always a hustle and bustle for Rosalind, so let's get to work. First step is to get the wallpaper hung. This is the Sylvanian curtain set that also comes with a light fixture. There's a separate lace curtain piece in this set as well, which is very nice. On the back of the curtain, there is paper that you remove and then you have the adhesive to stick on the wall and then the curtain can Velcro onto that. I didn't hang the curtains that way, I just used some temporary tacky stuff to stick them on the wall. So many beautiful windows in the Sylvanian homes, but Rosalind didn't want to put more curtains up, so she thought she'd bring in a hint of nature. And what she did was she created a garland and wrapped white lights around it and added faux orange fruit. It was a super frustrating and literal pain in the neck to crouch in there and hang this up. And it kept popping off repeatedly. So Rosalind really hopes her client likes the final result. Now let's get everything moved in. to overdo the blue so we're going to change up those mugs and look we have orange and green mugs filled with coffee that match the color card these mugs are from one of the sylvanian family's breakfast play sets now let's take a look at the final kitchen I love the curtains and that dashing touch of the copper teapot.
incorporated those colors from the card into the kitchen. I think Rosalind has incorporated all of the colors quite well. The rug is quite a perfect match with three colors in the color card. Rosalind realizes the true magic in these color cards in creating a cohesive design. And she's confident that no other in the Sylvanian village will have a kitchen design like this. Let's see who the kitchen belongs to. Ah, uh, it's Charlotte, the sugar bear. She looks so sweet in her new kitchen. And how she does wish that Rosalind Renard would stay for some coffee, but Rosalind has so many projects to get to. So the table is set for Charlotte and her hubby bear to enjoy a breakfast. I hope you enjoyed this room design. Rosalind truly found it a challenge, and I want to thank you for watching, and thank you again to all of those who voted. Thank you.